Hello everyone, my name is Sara Valerio. I'm the Regional Child Protection Advisor with World Child Holland uh, for the Middle East based in Beirut. I will uh, be presenting today one of our programs um, which has adapted its intervention during a COVID-19 outbreak um, with the main um, idea behind it being the way we have worked jointly with the education sector and so very much uh, um, highlighting the importance of collaboration and working with others um, in the protection of children during outbreak of diseases. Um, the program that uh, I will be talking about is Back to the Future. It's uh, a program um, um, implemented by a consortium of Terdesom Italy, AFSI and World Child Holland and funded by the EU MADAT. The program um, is a 24 month intervention that uh, looks at um, uh, providing access to basic quality education and protection services for children in Lebanon. Uh, that includes the uh, most vulnerable Syrian refugees as well as host uh, communities. Uh, as much as um, uh, in every other country, also in Lebanon, uh, schools have been closed as of uh, 28th of February, um, including also our learning centers within the Back to the Future. So the consortium engaged in um, conversations and discussion with the Minister of Education, who is a strong uh, partner of the intervention, um, in looking at how we could adapt our um, activities to uh, now a remote uh, setting. Um, one of the first uh, key activities was to contribute to uh, an education uh, readiness assessment um, that has been conducted in Lebanon, um, which has given us also uh, information about families and communities in the way um, they could also be engaged uh, in a remote way in our activities. Um, uh, along with that, uh, the consortium has also um, very much got inspired by the technical note uh, produced by the Alliance on preventing child protection risks, um, abuse and violence at home during COVID-19. Specifically, uh, we um, highlighted the importance of two activities. The first one is uh, ensuring access to uh, caregivers, uh, psychosocial support activities, um, and children PSS activities um, by contributing to a joint child protection and education um, common set of competencies um, that have been developed uh, and implemented over eight weeks. Uh, very much understanding that during COVID-19, um, the situation at home um, could have had very much an impact on the relationship between caregivers and the children. And so very much highlighting the importance of um, providing caregivers with self-stress uh, um, uh, release um, sessions, as well as uh, positive parenting tips. Um, the second set of activities is very much um, trying to ensure that uh, schooling and learning continues in this uh, type of context. Um, and so we identified two programs that uh, were being implemented uh, remotely. One addressing uh, um, uh, early childhood, um, so children between three, four and five years old, um, through a program called Scenario, uh, which is um, uh, a set of learning activities done mainly via WhatsApp. Um, and the second is the Can't Wait to Learn program, um, which is a tablet-based uh, program uh, looking uh, very much at basic literacy and numeracy. And both programs have been adapted with the Ministry of Education and based on the Lebanese curriculum. Um, of course, um, this was also complemented by health awareness sessions in trying to reduce also um, the risks of spreading the disease um, within uh, the households. Um, so all of this was also very much uh, aligned and inspired by what uh, the CPMS, for example, tell us uh, in terms of working with others and really much uh, acknowledging that collaboration with other sectors is needed in the protection of children during infectious disease and generally to prevent and respond to infectious disease, there is a need to, um, to work jointly with others. Um, so. So this was a bit what the, you know, the overview of, uh, of the program and the, and the intervention. 
uh, we did face some challenges and the challenges, I think the one that I would like to share with you is um, on the detection of children um, in terms of identification and possible referral to specialized services. Uh, we were able to identify some children, um, uh, a total of I think 20, um, 20 children. However, much more needs to be done and it is still a discussion that um, is happening within the consortium and within the education and child protection sectors on how can we enhance the capacity of our staff and our partners in uh, uh, facilitating that discussion um, together with uh, um, the learning and the PSS um, sessions. So this is still um, something that we're trying to, uh, we're trying to look at. Um, I do hope that uh, we can discuss a bit further uh, during the Alliance meeting and I'll be happy to also learn from others on how can we best also continue to, um, to um, support and refer uh, children at risk in this type of situation. Thank you so much and look forward to speaking more.